Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a cocktail that tastes just like dessert. Because you know what? I have a sweet tooth. So for those of you that have been around for a while, you know I like my sweet cocktails and my tart cocktails. But I have this huge hankering for cake almost every day. It's almost a problem. But I'm too lazy to make it. So rather than going out and spending a ton of money and having somebody make it, and taking the time to make it, we can have a cocktail and it'll be just as good. And you know what? Five minutes, that's all you need, we're good to go. So you know what? Taste this pineapple upside down cocktail with me right after this. Now this is a simple shaken cocktail. Anyways, <laughs> don't do that at home kids. Uh, well, okay, this is a shaken cocktail. However, we are gonna build this kind of in two parts. And you know what? It's gonna be really simple and really easy. Now, take your shaking glass, but the first thing we're going to add is some vanilla vodka. Now, if you don't have vanilla vodka available to you wherever you live, what you can do is get a vanilla bean, put it into a bottle, and then fill that bottle with vodka, and just let that sit for as long as you want. Because you know what? That'll give you the exact amount of vodka flavor that you need. And Let's be honest, I've been completely thrown off by the flying sign. However, we do need, how much do we need? An ounce and a half or 45 milliliters of your vanilla vodka. Now the next thing we are going to use is a little bit of amaretto. And I am using Di Sirono amaretto. You can use whatever you like, although this is arguably one of the most famous of them, or it is the most famous amaretto liqueur. And this is an almond liqueur, and we're gonna use half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Next, what we're going to do is add a little bit of lime juice. And for that, you're just gonna grab a lime that's starting to become more expensive by the day. And what we'll do first is we will cut this in half and then we will cut another slice out for our garnish. Throw that off to the side like so. And then what we'll do is we will squeeze out 10 milliliters or a third of an ounce. So now that you've added your lime juice, what we are going to do is we are going to use some pineapple juice. And I'm using a pure pressed pineapple juice. It's 100%, no sugar added and no pulp, which is perfect for me. But use whatever you like and whatever you feel is best suits you for this drink. Now we're going to use four ounces or 120 milliliters. Perfect, this smells fantastic. You just can't go wrong with a good pineapple cocktail. The next thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of ice. And what we'll do is we will shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds, but you wanna make sure that your glass is full of ice. That way you can control the amount of dilution you're getting. So slap your lid on like so, give it a flip, and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand pineapples like so. Now, the pineapple juice itself will foam up and that is natural. And we're going to build this directly into a gorgeous hurricane glass. Use whatever you want. Pint glass would probably really work well. So what we're going to do is fill this up with some ice, like so. Whoa, play catch there. And we're just going to uh, strain this using our Hawthorne strainer. We're not going to fine strain it. I'm not worried about ice chips. And we'll put it in like so. Oh, oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that color. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your grenadine. Whether you're using a homemade grenadine or one that you've bought yourself, in this case, I'm using roses. It's what I have on my shelf left over. What we are going to do is take a half an ounce and we're going to pour it on top, just like so. Wow. That is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So what we're going to do now is we are going to take our lime wheel and throw this on here as a garnish, but we're also going to add one nuclear red maraschino cherry, and we're just going to put that on top right here. <laughs> this is a thing of beauty. It's dessert in a glass, and you know what? It's gorgeous, exactly what you wanna serve your guests 
or even yourself on a quiet day, you know, when you want something nice. So let's just grab a straw, slide this in here like so, and give it a try. Oh, so good. You get that vanilla, you get that cherry flavor from the grenadine, and you get that pineapple, and the lime juice just pulls it together, and you've got that amaretto, which just, just floats in the background. Absolutely fantastic. What I will do is I will put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. And if you think we should do anything different, leave a comment, because that's really important. You know what? But if this is your first time on my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on rocks, because every little bit, uh, nearly knock that over, helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic kick in a glass.